Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have another Naruto CCG mailed it. Two extremely cool cards and one amazing item. I'm so excited for all of you to see it today. I hope you do enjoy it. So let's get right into it. We have three items total, two cards, one thing that is a sealed product. And the first thing is a, I'm going to call them, Ghost Rare Sasuke card. Incredible. So this is Japanese, as you could tell. Beautiful, beautiful. We have Data, Cardass. People who made it. This one is Sasuke. So you have Sasuke with the curse mark and then Sasuke from Shippuden drawing his sword. This is beautiful. And luckily, those cards are actually gradable by MNT, which is right here, the people who graded the Susano. So I'm going to get that card graded. There's some scratches on the front, but besides that, the card looks okay. Maybe we get anywhere from a 7.5 to an 8.5. I don't know, but those cards look beautiful, and I'm going to be picking up more in the near future, 100%. And to go with that, we got a Naruto Ghost Rare. Now, a lot of the scuffing is actually on my uh, card saver, but look at this. We have a Naruto with a Rasengan in his cloak, Ninetales cloak, and then him in Shippuden with his Ninetales cloak. I think there's actually two cards in the CCG with that artwork, if I remember correctly, but those are two ghost rare cards. We're going to leave them up there. Absolutely beautiful. I'm stunned. Absolutely stunned. Now, in the last, I think it was the last video or two videos ago, a guy that I uh, started talking to found his content on TikTok, really nice guy, um, Lil Yuzu, I believe it's Yuzu, that's how you pronounce it, or Yuzu, Yuzu underscore collector, I believe it is, on TikTok. He got me into these. Now, I had seen these before in a couple group chats, some people that had them, uh, but he mentioned that you could buy these from Japan. So I did my research, and I picked these up from Japan, got here very quickly. Amazing. So we're going to grade those on the channel, I'm very excited for that. And I'm going to try to pick up a lot more. Now, you may be wondering, why am I, do I have my Susano in the background? First off, I will have an announcement with that card in a couple days. But the reason why is because... Yes. You are looking at what you think you're looking at. This is a Shattered Truth booster box. It is not sealed, as you could tell. Oh my gosh. My favorite character, Itachi Uchiha... Look at this beauty of a booster box. Set 21 in the Naruto CCG Shattered Truth. This box was middlemaned by a young punch man. Very nice guy. This wouldn't have been possible without him, so I really do appreciate it. He makes amazing TikTok content, so I'd highly suggest going to check him out. Now, this box is opened, but all the packs oh, are inside of it. And actually, as a bonus, not only are all the packs inside of it, there were 28 packs inside of here. As some of you may know, a normal booster box carries 24 packs, so there was an, actually an additional four packs. Um, so that's crazy. Beautiful booster box. My favorite two sets in the entire series are Shattered Truth and Avengers Wrath. If you're interested in picking up some Avengers Wrath from that box break, I talked about it in two videos ago. It's all over my Instagram. Eight out of the 12 packs are claimed already, so if you'd like to pick up some packs, let me know. But what a beauty. I'm so, so happy to have this in the collection. So there's 28 packs here, and I'm going to sell off a couple packs. I want to keep 24, at least 24. Um, so I'm going to sell off a couple, but what I'm going to do then, to know that they're on way, because they were technically loose, they were in the box... Uh, the buyer got them from a card shop in a big lot of boxes, blisters, stuff like that. So they're supposed to be loose. I would assume they're not searched or weighed, but I pulled out two packs that I think may have supers in them. There's a long, I can't remember. Oh man, I switched them up. Now I don't even remember. <laughs> um, there is a way to tell with the older sets that there's going to be a super rare in the, in the pack. I don't know if it's going to work here. Um... I, I never do this. I only do this if I have a booster pack lot that I think um, may have a possibility of being searched. So because of that, I'm going to do this. And the reason why I'm doing this, like I was saying, is 
Um, I'm gonna check if there's a super. If there is, then they're not, most likely not searched, not weighed. So um, I could sell them with a good conscience. So we know from our previous openings that three from the front is our foil. So we're gonna go into it. Of course, if this does happen to have a super, the super I would love to pull is the Itachi Susano. I'll put the, all the supers up on the screen right now. That is what we're going for, but I would love to get another Itachi Susano. I'm trying to get a bunch of them, get them all graded. So we got Chameleon Jutsu. Now this is one of the sets where they have full art, common, uncommon, and rares. Once again, another full art Hinata. Self destructing clay clone throne of the uchiha and i think this is our card here nope naruto uzumaki the final card it is a sasori so this is just a normal foil oh man okay so i think i said it earlier but i think i know how to check if there's a super i don't a hundred percent know though so um and of course I'm going to open up this other one. This one may have a super as well. And I'm going to keep doing that um, or try to find a way to tell because I do not want to sell any of these packs if I believe they could be searched. Um, and if I can't figure out a way, if I don't end up pulling a Susano in a couple packs, sorry, I'll pull a super in a couple packs, then I just won't sell them at all. Anyways, let's go into another one. Might as well. This is now you guys getting the little extra opening here um, of some shattered truth. That is a long name, won't even bother. We got Denka. Kiba. K K Kuromaru. I, I didn't even like know the name of that dog before. We have Rock Lee. Neji Huga. Let me know if this is a set that you enjoy. And also these cards are first edition. I just noticed that now, so that's good. Um, never a bad thing when they're first edition. We have the third Hokage Younger Days. I've never seen that card before, but that's really cool. I'm going to have to sleeve that up after. Naruto Uzumaki. Eight-Headed Serpent Jutsu. Can we get a super? No. Harusame. So, two, <laughs> two regular foils. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me see if I could find one pack that may have a super, and if we strike out again, then we're just going to have to leave it, and I probably won't sell packs, or I'll caution people before I sell packs to them. Okay, so I pulled out what I think may be a pack that has a super rare. If it doesn't, we're leaving at this point, because I really don't want to keep opening packs. Um, I'd rather keep them sealed, so hopefully it has a super. If it doesn't, I'll figure it out. At the end of the day, this is just more content. You get to see three packs of Shattered Truth opened up. It's a lot of fun. Sasuke's Curse. Anko. Giant Panda. Dreams of the Past. Chameleon Jutsu. Naruto. I love those full art. Wow. Sakon and Yukon. I think that's how Yukon. Uh, I can't remember. It's been too long. We have Might Guy. We have Overwhelming Power. And we do get a super. It is Minato. Oh, baby. It is Minato. No way. Oh, my gosh. That is beautiful. So these aren't searched. Wow. If you don't know, for a while I was going back and forth between what was my favorite uh, Minato cards, and I ended up on this one. This one is my favorite. Um, one reason why I like Shattered Truth so much, first off, it has the Itachi Susano, my favorite card in the entire game, but it also has the Sasuke uh, card from when they battled, and also the Minato. There's more cards as well in there that are good, but wow, no way we pulled the Minato. So I now know, uh, I now know that these packs are 
unsearched, unweighed, and I also found out some information through what I was doing. So I sort of know how to tell now uh, what has a super rare and what doesn't from Shattered Truth. But because, so because of that, sorry, I'm going to mix up all these packs to give, if I ever sell these, to give people a fair chance. And I want to do this on camera. Uh, I don't want to mess up these packs too much. Let's get these out of here. So I'm going to do this on camera. And I hope everybody can trust me with this. If you are going to be someone who's buying packs. I do not weigh packs. That's not my style. I'm not out here selling light packs. Actually, the other day I sold uh, a few packs to uh, Names Minato on TikTok and on Discord. And I think he bought 14 packs and he pulled <laughs> like six super rares or something crazy. So, um, yeah, I'm not out here trying to... Uh, pull one over on people. I think that's really, really not cool of people to do. But like I said, I'm keeping at least 24 packs. So I don't even know if I'll sell some of these. I know, I know quite a few people that actually want packs. So we'll see. So I mix those up a little bit. I think I mix them up a decent amount. We'll mix some together here like this, like you're mixing up cards. Boom. And then I'll put those back into the box after this video so that uh, I don't take up too much time. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Amazing video. Two crazy cards we got in the mail that I'll be grading. And now I'll grade that Minato. Plus, we know these are unsearched unway, which is amazing. Um, I'm so happy to have 20, more than 24 packs of Shattered Truth. Um, very, very exciting. And one day I'd love to go for a sealed box. Anyways, that's all. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.